Hi, my name is Eugene from Open Doors Germany and I want to invite you to have a look behind the scenes of the last moments before Jesus' crucifixion. Jesus is standing in front of the Sanhedrin and later in front of Pilate. The religious leaders and the crowd is outraged and accusing him and demanding to impale him on the cross. Jesus is not losing many words, even denying to defend himself. He, who was not guilty in a thing, the light of the world, sent straight from heaven, standing in the midst of his own creation, standing there, humiliated, flogged, crowned with thorns. He has all right and authority to defend himself, to get himself out of this misery, but silence. His behavior looks very unusual to me. I would definitely try to talk me out of this situation, but when I look closer, it's a tremendous lesson on eternal perspective. Jesus' perspective on kingdom and authority. Jesus' perspective on his kingdom was different than Pilate and the chief priest thought. Pilate's highest goal was to protect his influence among the Jews and Caesar, but Jesus knew exactly where he belonged to. Jesus answered in John 18, 36, My kingdom is not from this world. Choose your battle, folks. Followers of Christ are fighting the good battle for God's kingdom, not for the kingdom is built on this planet. Our focus, our longing, our belonging, our identity and future is in that kingdom. And nothing will separate us from his kingdom ruled by his love. As Christians, we often think God's intervention and persecution is, is when we get saved out of, of, of this uh, persecution. And yes, it might happen, but many times Christians have to pay the price and losing their lives. And it looks like, like a defeat. The question is raised, where is God in this? And you find the answer in that story. He, God, is standing there and facing his gruesome death next to you, for you, that everybody who will believe in him will have eternal life in his kingdom. He was willingly ready to sacrifice his life, not passive, but active. In John 19, uh, 9 to 11, it's described, Pilate is entering his headquarters again and say to Jesus, where are you from? But Jesus gave him no answer. So Pilate said to him, you will not speak to me? Do you not know that I have authority to release you and authority to crucify you? And Jesus replied to him, you would have no authority over me at all unless it had been given to you from above. Jesus again remained silent. It looked like a defeat that Jesus lost his authority as son of God, but in reality, it was completely different. There was no mistake in heaven, no victory in hell. God is still in control and Jesus would defeat death through his own death. He will glorify his father through his sacrifice. This is what Jesus knew and therefore he was silent, not defending himself. What looked like Pilate and the crowd were judging Jesus in the end was a judgment against themselves and, and a triumph for God's kingdom. Are we ready to remain silent when we are accused of our faith? Knowing where we belong and relying on God's authority over our situation. It reminds me on meeting a Pakistani pastor who was sharing about facing heavy persecution for following Christ in his country. When I mentioned that uh, Christians in Germany are praying for the persecution to stop, he interrupted me and replied, when Christians are praying this prayer, they have forgotten who they are and why we are persecuted. We are persecuted because of Christ in us. If you want to separate us from persecution, then you ask to separate us from Jesus. Don't pray that persecution should stop. Pray that we are faithful in the midst of it. This perspective challenged me a lot, but this pastor knew exactly that there is no resurrection without a death. Let us do exactly what this pastor asked us to do. Jesus, we pray that we and our family in persecution has your eternal perspective and remain faithful in partaking in your death and resurrection. Amen.
We hope that you were blessed with our devotional reflection for today. To get to know more about the Persecuted Church and the Ministry of Open Doors Philippines, please subscribe via the website link in the video description below. We also have an Easter campaign where you have the opportunity to bless the Persecuted Church at this time of the Lent. The campaign link is also below. Don't forget to subscribe and follow us on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram at Open Doors PH. Thank you and may this Jesus fill you with his love and grace this Holy Week.